Oscar crew. I enjoy watching you guys each and every day. Which actor to you has the best sounding voice? There are so many, but my favorites are Sean Connery and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Thanks and keep up the great work. I mean, come on. I have to appreciate the fact that you're bringing that up and the fact that you want to talk about it. You got a lot of stuff to talk about here. I mean, I have to be completely honest with you, I called Sharon Stone, I told her not to do Basic Instinct 2. I said we should do Total Recall 2, and she said not to. So who's the joke on now? Um, he's got a great voice. But I mean, I think that you also, uh, you, uh, James Earl Jones. I mean, come, oh, come oh, on. James Earl Jones, yeah. one of the best of all time. Yeah. Liam Neeson recently, great, great voice. Um, I'm a big fan of Jason Statham. You know what I mean? Right, Ooh. he's got that kind of smooth. I got one for you. you got? Michael Caine. Michael oh, Caine's Michael good. Michael Caine. Like yeah. that as well, well too. Hello, you guys are forgetting the great Christopher Walken. I'm not oh even going God. to impersonate oh, yeah. it, yeah, but come on. I mean, you try. Yeah, but you can't. Yep, <laughs> yeah. sure Christopher can. Walken. Awesome. No, that's fantastic. No, there's but James Earl Jones. How bad do I miss him doing the CNN announcement? Mm -hmm. That was that made me feel like I was watching something truly profound. I was just talking about James Earl Jones this morning. I had breakfast with Dennis, and he was talking about that Rebels, and I was like, "Yo, is Darth Vader in it?" Oh. And he's like, "Yes." I was like, "Man, James Earl Jones, right?" He's like, "Yes," because I remember when I was a kid, they had the radio play of Star Wars, and I could tell it wasn't James Earl Jones. I was like, <laughs> "That's not James Earl Jones." It was Brock Peters. He did a good job, but I'm just saying, Earl's back. James, Earl, James Earl back. Jones has got. That voice. I want him to be Darth Vader forever. Yeah. Um, so here's some of the stuff that you guys have been saying. Some names. We have Morgan Freeman out yes, there. Yes, of course. My, God. Uh, mm. Let's see. We got David Keith. Great, Ooh. great one. Definitely, Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, Daniel Craig. Morgan. A lot of Morgan Freeman. Jesse Eisenberg is Lex Luthor. Boom. Uh, Boom. And then Boom. we have. Troll. Let's see. Let's see. Troll. No, no, I think he's been legit. <laughs> let's see. So we those. Uh, Mark Hamill's got some great voices as well yes. too. Yeah. Christopher Lee. A lot of great, great choices here. So thank you for that one. Going old school too. How about Betty Davis? She yeah. had an incredible voice. Hey, great how about, and great eyes. Yeah. And a great song how about, about her eyes. Mel Blanc, the father of oh, all. Oh my God, voiceover. all voices. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh yeah, there was there was the Optimus Prime. I can't. I was, can I do it? I was always trying to get the prime down, but I couldn't do it. It was oh, like look. Orson Welles. Yeah, didn't he play a planet? He was like, I am he a did. planet. Uh, he, he was no, in the he, Transformer. Uh, I'm not the kidding. He's a Transformer. He, he, he played. Uh, he was like, I will sell no wine before <laughs> oh, I'm a planet. Yeah. yeah. He, he played Unicron, Megatron. Yeah. That's right. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.